I was like praying every day. Hey, if you do not take anything from this video, do that method. I'm telling you, you guys. I was like, one way or another, I was like, I'm going to get this car. Can't, no, all that stuff, that cannot be in your vocabulary. I was determined to get a Tesla car. To actually get what you want, you have to stop that limiting belief. And I was like, I said, this is my car and I'm about to get it. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ice, so forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hey y'all. So you guys, in today's video, today I'm gonna tell you guys how I manifested my dream car, okay? I never told this story before. I was gonna make like a TikTok video about it, but I decided just to make a YouTube video. So yes, right now I have my dream car, which is a Tesla, you guys, currently. Honestly, I cannot believe I have this car. I got this car in January, so it's been a couple of months now since I've gotten this car. You guys, this is my dream car. And honestly, you guys, like I'm literally saying this like for real, for real. I, I know a lot of people say this, if you would have told me last year that I would have this car, I would think you were lying. I would have thought you were lying, joking, everything. I would not believe you. Like, literally, I always thought this was unattainable for me. But, girl, nothing, nothing is unattainable. Like I said earlier, it's been a couple of months since I've gotten the car. But while I got the car, like I've realized that I've manifested this car. Like unknowingly, I've manifested this car. Because if you look up like all like manifestations where it tells you to do like to visualize, drive the car that you want, I've literally done all of that. And also I'm gonna tell you guys how you can manifest your dream car or dream house, anything you want to. But enough of me talking, let's get into the video. So first, before I tell you guys manifestation steps that I did, I'm gonna tell you guys the beginning of how I got my car. Also, in this video, you're gonna see why patience is key. So just to give a backstory, I am not a car girly. I am one of those people that I just, honestly, I really truly do not have, I don't have a dream car. Like growing up, I have never just like, oh my God, this is my dream car. I wanted this car, no. Me, for example, if I see a nice car, I'm, I'm gonna be like, oh, that is my dream car. But like then like maybe a week, two weeks later, if I see another car that looks nice, I'm like, oh, that's my dream car. So. All in all, I never had a dream car. So just to give some background, I've always had bad cars. <laughs> I remember my first car was a white 98 Toyota Camry. I love that car down, you guys. Nobody could tell me nothing about that car. I love that car down. Even though it was run down, that was my favorite car. Like, you guys, I do not care about cars. Like, that was my first car, but that car broke down on me. Then my second car was a white, sorry, it was a burgundy Toyota Camry as well. That one was not my favorite. I'm gonna include pictures here as well of all my past cars. I forgot the year, but it could have been like 2001 or two. Um, That car was ugly to me. <laughs> I did not like that car, but it did what it had to do. Then my third and final car for I got my Tesla was 2017 Hyundai Elantra. That was my final car. And you guys, I love that car. I really, really love the car. That was the first car I've had that has never gotten me any trouble or anything. So the Tesla right now that I have, that's my first luxury car. So it's like, I've always had what people consider now in society is not good cars. So around one to two years ago, I was about to graduate college. I was in my last semester and I was working at, I was working at this valet company. I was the cashier. At that time, I had my Hyundai Elantra. But you guys, at that time, I wanted a Lexus, you guys. I was like, I want a Lexus. The reason why I'm going back at that time, it was because like I would tell my one coworker, his name was Muhammad, shout out to you. And I will always tell him, I want a Lexus. Like I didn't even think about a Tesla. Like I didn't even, I don't even think I knew what a Tesla was at that time. I don't think so. I remember I would always say like, I want the, a Lexus, I forgot. 
350. That was the car I wanted so, so, so bad. I wanted that car. Oh, always tell my dad, I want this car. I'm gonna get this car. I would tell everyone, like Lexus was my dream car because it was affordable and like, it was like luxury, you know? So around that time, I graduated college. So this was 2022, I graduated college. So around 2022 and 2023, I was still driving my Hyundai Elantra. But around that time, like I, I was still saying like, I want a Lexus, right? I don't know when, but like out of nowhere, I think like I saw like a Tesla or something. And I was like, and I was like, that is my car. I was like, I want that car. Like for a period of time, I used to be like, I was obsessed with Tesla. Like I told you before, like I'm not a car girly. Like I'll be on a car for one one or two weeks. I see a car, I'm like, ooh, then I get off it, I'm on to the next one. Cause I'm not a car girly. But when I saw a Tesla, I was like, oh my gosh, this is my car. Because like it has no gas, it has like no engine, it's like computer. And I was like, this is my car. But specifically the Model I said, this is my car and I'm about to get it. <laughs> After that, I've just been like obsessed with Teslas. I was just like, oh my gosh, I need this car. I need this car. I'm, I'm going to get this car. Through the end of 2022 and then the whole year of 2023, I was like, I need a Tesla. I was obsessed. I was just obsessed with Teslas, everything about it, everything. I was like, I want a Tesla. But I did not think I could get a Tesla. So I thought to actually get what you want, you have to stop that limiting belief of you cannot get it. Like can't, no, all that stuff that cannot be in your vocabulary when you want something in life that literally cannot be in your vocabulary. I hope, hopefully, that cannot be in your vocabulary. So 2023, throughout those years, I was like determined to get a Tesla car. I didn't have a second option. I was like, I'm going to get this car. One way or another, I was like, I'm going to get this car. So the different manifestations methods that I did, number one, I started praying. So I'm Muslim. So like I would pray, you know, you pray every day, five times a day. Like the nighttime, I will always pray. Just, I would just pray to God, please help me get this car. I want this car. Like I would just pray just to get this car. Number two, I had a vision board. So let me get my vision board. So I have a vision board right here and you see like a pink Tesla. I had this vision board right here and I would hang it up right now in my wall and I would look at that every single day. And like, I would just imagine like my car, like I would just imagine my car, me getting this car, me just having this car. Um, Number three, I would visualize. So I was really heavy on this last year, not this much this year. Um, what I used to do before I would go to sleep, I would just manifest my dream life. Like I would just sit in the bed, just like literally close my eyes and just visualize my dream life. And one thing I would always visualize was me hopping in that Tesla and just skrr, driving in my car. Those was one of the methods that I did. Okay, I'm sorry you guys, my camera had died and I had to change my battery. Sorry, so if you see the lighting change, it's at nighttime. So back to what I was saying. Okay, so I was talking about visualization. I feel like that is such a powerful method because um, if you guys watch this movie on YouTube, it's free. It's called The Secret and it tells you everything about like manifestation and just getting everything you want. Just imagine everything that you want. Just visualize it and just like, and it even has like this one scene where like this guy was like pretending to drive his dream car. Then like months passed and he got his dream car. So like I was really heavy on that and then afterwards, I would do gratitude. So like everything that I was grateful for, I would just write it. I would just, just think of everything I was grateful for. I feel like that right there is such a powerful method. Anytime I would get down or anything about, about anything, I would just do that and you guys, it just literally just changed my mood. Like it just made me in a better mood. I recommend anyone who's watching this video do that. I really recommend that. Like literally visualize yourself in your dream life, everything that you want. Imagine like you already have it. 
then have a gratitude of everything that you already have you know if you do those two things it is so powerful you guys i'm telling you also what i did was i would always i would speak about it so i'm not gonna lie i for the longest i was the type of person i was just like if i say it oh it might not happen <laughs> I don't know like i always think that i still think like that a little bit sometimes but like it would it, i just had this thing it was just like if i say it it won't happen like which is so not true because like it won't happen now it might not happen now but like soon it's going to happen you know this was like every time i saw a tesla i'll be like oh my gosh that's my tesla i'll be like oh my god look at my tesla like every time i was with my sister or something oh my god look at my car I thought, oh, look at my car, look at my car. Look, every time I saw Tesla, I'm like, y'all, there go my car. I even have, you guys, a video. I'm gonna put up the video here. But I have it on my YouTube channel. Look at my car, Y'all, this is my favorite, where I saw a Tesla and I was like, I literally said, y'all, there go my car, a Tesla. Then like two or three months later, I got my car. But you guys, I said that. I said that and like when I look back at that, I was like, that's when it realized to me that I manifested this car, honestly. Also, um, I would send my dad like pictures of Teslas all the time. Like every time I saw a Tesla, I would like quickly take a picture of it and send it to him. I will always do that. Like, I don't know why I would do that, but like I will always send it to him. Also, what I did that, that really, really helped was I, before I even got the car, I drove a Tesla. So a while back, my sister, she got into an accident with our car and while they was fixing it um they gave her a rental car so they so she decided to get a tesla so shout out to her as well because she got the tesla because of me because she knew i wanted to get the car so she got the she got the tesla and then she would let me like sometimes drive it i remember the first time i drove it i was like this is my car this is my car like i remember the first time i drove it i was like yep this is the car i want i already knew i wanted a car but after i drove it for the first time for like the full day i was like i need this car because it was just so it was just so amazing to me i don't know like i'm just rem reliving back the memories right now and it's just like i remember like the first time driving that car fully and i was just so like wow even right now like i'm having this like wow like i have this car you know you guys i recommend anyone do this if you want like like your dream car dream house dream apartment ha warehouse anything that you want actually like go and do it experience it because tesla they have like you could go to one of their facilities and like do a demo drive on the tesla if you want a dream apartment go to one of the apartments that you really want like a high rise or anything and go just tour it that's what i'm doing right now anything a dream house like visualize yourself in it actually go and do it you know because soon it will be yours i don't know what that is called but i know that's a manifestation thing they always say but that is all the steps that i did so now i'm about to get into like how i got the car and everything i quickly just want to remind you guys just want to make this point be patient you guys the more you are patient the the bigger the reward when i told you guys in the beginning my dream car was a lexus i said that was my dream car like i remember i wanted a new car so bad like i was just like i don't care i want a new car i want a new car i remember i would get so upset i was like oh my god i want a new car like it's time for me to get a new car because i was driving the hyundai for so long when i was saying that i was patient with myself i was like i'm gonna be patient imagine if i was not patient and i was like i i'm gonna get alexis right now imagine if i was not patient i would have my lexus but i would not have gotten my tesla so like i was patient for like maybe a year or two like i think like a year and then like i got the car of my dreams well, you know when you're in that waiting season or anything you're just like waiting for something to happen for just anything that you're working on you're just ready for it to pop be patient you guys because the longer you wait the bigger the reward i truly believe that now ever since that has happened to me just know like once you are patient the bigger the reward baby so just remember that you guys okay so now how i got my tesla 
I got my Tesla, you guys, the beginning of the year. I got my car literally January 2nd. So in the beginning, I was like literally so frustrated with everything. I remember I was just like, Ugh, I need a car. I'm, I was like ready to like buy my Tesla. I remember I was like about to go finance it and do a lease. I never did a, a did at least before ever you guys but then like i waited then you guys remember in the beginning i told you guys that i graduated college so my graduation gift from my parents was they gave me a tesla so he, my dad went to the auction he was like viewing teslas and he saw three cars he showed me a picture of, of this red tesla model s model s and i chose that one you guys the seats was leather the seats was beige beautiful beautiful the, um it was red it was beautiful you guys beautiful i remember i even called out of work that day i was like i don't care <laughs> so i went and went to the auction me and my dad and i went and picked up the car first of all i was so happy i got the car i was ecstatic i got the car i literally couldn't believe it like i couldn't even believe it i couldn't believe it to the point it was just like wow i'm literally driving in my dream car i told you earlier about like that visualization process when i was about to go to sleep i will always visualize like what like my dream life you guys like my visualization was me driving in my car dropping off orders and the day I got my car, I went to my house because I had to ship out orders. Like I was driving into the post office in my new car. <sighs> you guys, that is so powerful. Like if you do not take anything from this video, do that method. I'm telling you, you guys. I was even having a little bit of imposter syndrome because like, I don't know when good things happen to me. It's like I, it's like it's like something in me always like you don't deserve it or it's always like I hate that. I hate that so much because it's like I work so hard. It's like I take a lot of L's a lot my business and just a lot of stuff and it's just like when something good happens it's just like can't be true like it's always something and i hate that i hate that because i'm always optimistic but like when good things happen it's just like because oh i got this because of this or it's like it's always something but i am so happy i got that car okay but you guys that is how i got my dream car also the model that i wanted remember how i said i wanted a model 3 even though i got a model s i like i really 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 like the model s better it is just so much better than a model 3 i'm so happy that i stick i stuck with um the model s the red one is the best but you guys um that is how i got my dream car i hope the video was not too long if you guys want anything in life make sure to pray you guys first first and foremost make sure you pray but also just visualize yourself and always have gratitude as well like with these things like you can literally get whatever you want it's literally it's amazing what life can do it's amazing it's amazing what god can do honestly but you guys that is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions or concerns make sure to comment it down below and also thank you guys so much for watching i post videos every week so make sure you subscribe because every week you're gonna get a new video from me and that's on period yeah every time i say that i'll be so out of breath <laughs> but again guys thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys in the next video